A forensic team is working with Martin County detectives trying to solve a cold case more than 30 years old. They're exhuming the remains of three infants, hoping to learn more about what happened to a newborn they now refer to as Baby Moses. Our Tori Dunnan is part of the largest news team on the Treasure Coast. She joins us live now from Stewart with more. Tori. This is a very long process that started here this morning, and the team is still out here working. It's all about preserving evidence, but the sheriff's office brought in an expert who they believe will help them solve this cold case. I wouldn't be here right now if I wasn't optimistic. Hope, now more than three decades later, Dr. Heather Walsh Haney, a forensic anthropologist, and her team from Florida Gulf Coast University are here helping to solve a cold case mystery from the 80s. Marking, sifting, peeling, digging. Their goal to work as meticulously as needed to preserve any evidence that may be buried in the soil. It's been my experience that uh, the cemetery practices from the 60s, 70s, and 80s were not of the same standard that we have today, unfortunately. They're exhuming three unidentified bodies from grave sites, each simply marked unidentified infant, all to find a newborn detectives dubbed Baby Moses. Boaters found his body in the St. Lucie River back in 1983. The worst case scenario for us is that these three infants are all in the same age group. That's a very young newborns. Just from a look at the color of the soil, the sheriff now believes these bodies could be in boxes. It's a good thing for us because if the bodies are in styrofoam or in a box, then that means the bones should all be there. New DNA technology that wasn't around in the 80s will be used to try to ID baby Moses as well as the other two infants. New evidence that could tell them more about what happened so many years ago. Even if we find uh, uh, seepage, from that body or, or soil that was contaminated by the body having been there, there is a chance that they're going to use brand new technology to test for DNA just in soil particles, which is new to us. They had hoped to be finished by this evening, but now the plan is to work well into the night using lights. So far, though, no word yet on whether or not they're going to be back out here tomorrow. We're live in Stewart. I'm Tori Dunnan, WPTV News Channel 5.